Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trish at Career Minds Creations and today I'm going to be sharing with you a swap that I was in um, on Coffee Cake and Crafting which is Tiffany McGill's group. Uh, she is Tiffany Parker like the Boss McGill here on YouTube. Um, let me, guys, let me cut this off because it's irritating me. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm going to be sharing with you um, a swap that I did um, in her group participated in um and it was called the poodles halloween poodles treat box swap and we had to make three boxes that she uh provided um tutorials for we had to use the box and then the fourth box we could use uh, uh come up with any box we wanted you know our choice and they had to have halloween pattern paper and three embellishments or something like that um, and we also had to make four embellishments. Okay, now, this is simple otherwise, but this time, because I've been in a funk with my crafting and I was just not in the mood for it, and I'm trying to get my mojo back and it's gradually coming back, this challenged me because I was, the reason why I was getting irritated with my crafting and my mojo left was because I kept doing the same thing over and over again. So when I did this swap, I was trying to do something different. So it's some of the stuff the same but different. So um, that's why it was challenging for me, and um, it took a minute. So um, I'm going to show you what I made. First, I'm going to show you the boxes that um, I'm not going to take one because I already packaged them up. But um, we had to make these two boxes. This is one by one by one and a half I think or something like that this little box right here and it had to have a belly band and uh, two elements and a dimensional uh, 3d um, elements thing with the other box and I forgot I think it's three by two by one side box and um, yeah so that's the bottom of it when you see the belly band that right there. now I used I was gonna just use the ribbon on there but uh, when it took them off, I wanted it to be easy to put it back on, so I put paper behind it um, and folded it so it'd be easy to get the belly band back on there. And we had to leave these boxes empty um, so that the partners can use them how they wish. Okay, so that's one box we had to make um, per her instructions. And then this is another box we had to make, which I already put in the thing. Um, but this is a 2x2x2 uh, two by two by two box. And again, we had to have two um, embellishment with a uh, one three D element and with Halloween pattern paper. So that's what I use with this one. It's a cute little box. Um, so I used that. That's the one side of my box. And then this box, it was between a toss up, and I wanted to go ahead and add the other box, but and I could have probably left it flat. And I wish I would have added them now with some. Uh, um, Chinese takeout boxes. They were so cute. Um, I found a little pattern for them. And, uh, um, and I had to size them up or down. I can't remember. But they, I, I think I had to size them up because they were a little small. So big. Um, I'll actually show them to you. So these are the boxes that I did. Um, actually, I did one in green first. And I, if I had I made this, I would have probably finished in green. But then it would have been the added uh, task of trying to do that. And um, like I said, I probably could have left these flat. Um, and I, but I grew the bottom and they were cute. And then another thing about it was I had to, uh, put wire on them. So I forwent that box. I'm now, I, but still wish I would have put them in there anyway. I was going to add both of them, you know, this pillow box and that box, but I didn't. And I wish I had, but anyway, so this is the pillow box that I came up with. Again, it was a pattern that I found. I put in my Cricut and I come up with it and I put a gem there. My two elements and my three meals is a little bone um, because my, my Halloween pen and paper was bone. So I thought that was cute. So that's how those come packaged. And then we had to make four embellishments. Now all these are flat embellishments and they're kind of large. And I did it on purpose because they can be used alone or you can add them or something like a mini album or something like that. You can even also add um, them to a paper clip or something like that. So um, these is the one I did, made. I did some stamping and, you know, added some bling on this one, uh, some sequins, eat, drink, and be scary. And then October 31st, I punched uh, the circle out of 
orange uh, glitter cardstock and uh, black uh, spider punch with the Martha Stewart punch. And I stamped that. And then on this side, I did a paper, uh, crepe paper rosette with a dye behind it with some Halloween paper. And I stamped that and I colored in the little piece of candy there. And I added uh, some uh, really ribbon is like I don't know I got it from a swap a while back I can't remember who gave it to me but I got that in a swap and I added a little sequin there and this one I die cut um, out of purple cardstock I had a little uh, embellishment sticker that I put on there it's like 3d and I put um, a banner of a uh, fishtail banner of a ribbon and I added a couple pieces a few pieces of silver bling on that and that is how those come packaged. And again, um, these are stuck down with cement uh, tape, uh, cement glue, so they can peel right off and they won't stick to anything. So they're not foam or anything, but they can add these um, to something or they can use them alone. These are, and they can use them as a tag or whatever. So, um, when, again, this is I was trying to do something different with these. So that's that. Oh, and guys, um, to my partners, we had to add tags to those. And I forgot to put them in with the boxes. So these are my little tags that I'm at the boxes. Now, um, y'all can add these. You can put these with any tag you want to. But you had to stamp it on the two, put two from on them. And so I stamped the two front on that. When I stamped that as a little stamp and uh, die that I got from somebody from my swap. Um, I, again, I forget to get, I got to start remembering. Some of the, stamp, the things I did get in swaps, so I remember who gave them to me. But this particular set, I don't remember who gave it to me. So I had to start writing down um, on the the item that I got in a swap who sent it to me um but anyway so I stamped it with uh stays on ink and then I colored with colored pencils and I do a little shading <laughs> because simply because I'm into my coloring and again I stamped two from the back and I cut these two dies two from my hand I stamped that in white and they can wipe that right on here in a, a white gel pen and these tags on here are not for tying them to anything. I'll simply put that on there because the die that I used had a hole. Um, and, you know, because the boxes are there, I don't know what, if there's a, they can tie them on there. So I just put maybe they can like stick them on or add them any way they want. If they want to tie them on there, they can just add a bigger piece of string or whatever. And unfortunately, guys, again, I'm sorry. Um, I was, uh, forgot I had to make another tag because I made three boxes. I had to make four tags. So... And I had them write this one by hand because I lost my little two stamp. So I don't know what happened to it. It's only got a little tiny little stamp, clear stamp. And it's going to be hard to find. I haven't cleaned it. So I hope I come across it. Got my front part, but I guess I had to write that on there. Um, so that's what that is. So those are the uh, tags, the two form tags that we had to put in there. And again, guys, to my to my partners, I'm sorry I didn't put those in. And you can okay, you can pretty much look at them and tell which tag goes to what. But you can put them with any box you want to. But I made the uh, little witch um, tag to go with the big box because it's like a lot of little witch hats on there. And the two tags, other the black tags go with the other ones, obviously. Um, that, that 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 black tag or white tag can go with this one and vice and same with this one but it'll probably be more feasible for the uh, white tag to go with that one so that's why I did it so sorry about that guys forgot to put the tags in with the boxes and then uh, we had well we didn't have to but I added a little bag of goodies which I'm not going to uh, show y'all can um, once you get that my partners I'm you know want something to the you know surprise if they see this video um but Tiffany will be doing a review video so she's going to be showing this so if y'all want to see then y'all can see what's up it's the same but different but it, I made a little goodie bag so I'm going to show you how that came packaged so first I put this in like soup and then this one, then I put the tags in, then that bag, and then I put the little bag of treats in the back. And this was kind of tricky because this was a uh, bag that had pleats in it, so it was kind of, I had to figure out how I was going to keep this closed and uh, get the top on here. So I just kind of folded it close and then I just stapled the plastic that stapled it back shut. You know, keep it closed until I can get the um 
the topper on it. And this is a bit of a pain in the butt. And guys, it's been raining uh, all weekend. And it's raining now. I don't want to leave my house. So, and I got to mail this out soon to due date. Okay. That's good. Now just keep it closed. Okay. And I put cut this from some uh, old um Halloween paper stack that I had from Recollections. And then I just put this on here. I'm gonna push this down because I don't want that to stick. I wanna staple this on like so. Make sure that's not gonna stick us right in the middle one time. And I'll just cut. And then I got this little uh, thing that I printed out and I put it on an orange rosette that I made. And I'm just going to put some glue here and stick that on. And there I have it. And these are, okay, this is for the host. And so I made three sets. So this is how my swap's going to come packaged. Got to mail these off. I hope my partner likes them. This was fun. I'm getting my mojo back, so I'm good on that. And guys, um, uh, y'all, I'm sorry. I haven't been posting many videos, but, um, I'm getting back into my mojo. So, um, y'all bear with me. I'm getting there, and, uh, y'all have a crafty day. Bye.